Come on, robot. Do something. Good morning. It is Monday. Oh, that light's very strange, isn't it? That's a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to try and make myself a cup of tea. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I've been up since 7, but I haven't actually had a cup of tea yet. <laughs> I've um, I got Ellen up, got her breakfast ready, took her to school. She's in a bit of a state because she had full weekend of dance training. She was in London on Saturday and she was dancing with um, a company at the um, Contemporary Dance School having like taster sessions and um, then she had a full day of workshops yesterday. Her feet are so bruised. I mean, it looks like she's been through the mill and um, a bit swollen as well. So she put her school shoes on this morning and she was in absolute agony. So she's hobbled to school. She was already late because she's absolutely shattered. She, already, she realized that she'd forgotten her art folders. So I've had to drive back up to school, take her her art folders, just got home again. And then I get a text from my uncle who has asked me if I can take him to A&E because he has had a fall over the weekend and he thinks he's broken his wrist. He's in a lot of pain, he can't drive. So I've now got to go and take him to the hospital. So yeah. It's not been such a great start to the day. I'm hoping that it improves. Um, it sounds like he has broken it if it's as painful as that. So he'll probably end up in plaster, <sighs> which I don't know how that will pan out because he looks after my nan and you know he does all the shopping and everything else. So that probably means that I'll have to step in and help out there, which is fine but um, we'll just have to see how that pans out. Anyway, you get up in the morning, you think, ah, oh, start, nice start to the week, it's sunny, feeling positive, and then <laughs> all of this happens. But you know, that's life. So yes, I'm gonna make myself a nice cup of tea, and then I'm gonna go and take my uncle to the hospital. So as promised in our Sunday Live, let's have a mug of the day. Today I'm going to choose this Kath Kidston mug, um, which I picked up at a jumble trail last summer. Cheers. So I've just dropped off my uncle at the hospital and he's going to give me a call when he's done, which could be hours but he looked, it was awful. He was really very, very swollen. His hand was twice the size of the other one. So he was in a real state, could barely put his coat on. So see what happens. But I, I would say he's broken it, definitely. I think he's hoping for a bad sprain, but I think that looks like a break to me. But we shall see. Anyway, um, I've just sat down to start editing last week's vlog, so that will be up tomorrow. Um, this will be the last time you see Sally wearing this dress here. I need to find something else for her to wear today because we sold this at the weekend for £79. So that's going to be packaged in a minute and um, off on its way to its new owner. And I just had a really annoying return, which was a Reese dress. Um, it's something that I picked up at a jumble a long time ago. It's a very plain black dress. Um, but Reese, as you know, is quite an expensive brand and it was 139 brand new. Um, I originally had it listed at something like 70 or 80 pounds, but I didn't, I, it's a small size and it's a black dress, which isn't very exciting. So um, there wasn't a huge amount of interest in it. So I incrementally dropped the price. And finally, I accepted an offer of something like £25. And then I have options of first class, second class and special delivery on when you buy something. So you can choose one of those options. And she chose second class for three ninety nine. pounds second class recorded. And then messaged and said, um, 
I've paid £3.99 postage, but could you please send it first class because I need it in two days and um, I'm happy for you to not send it recorded as I've only paid £3.99. Well, we're not happy to send it not recorded, a £25 sale, not really very happy to send that not tracked or recorded. So we ended up just, you know, just to save the hassle, we said we'll send it first class and we sent it recorded anyway. So we did that and she got it in time and then a day later a return comes through, it doesn't fit. So she's returned it and you've got to love it, haven't you? I go to all the trouble of double bagging things. Um, she obviously had the, the clear plastic bag that I send it in, but she didn't return it in that. She's just returned it as it is in a paper bag, just a paper envelope. 25 pound dress, new with tags. If that had got damaged in the post, then I wouldn't have been able to have resold the dress. So, a bit frustrated with that entire sale. Hello. Found a Nick. We are out on our walk. Um, I have a little Hermes parcel. This is some wiper blades, if I can get it all in. I'm going to take a few pictures of a certain pub. I don't think I'll be vlogging much today. My um, task is to finish all the artwork for my pub idea. So yeah, don't know what we're going to say. What do we need to say? Oh, I don't know. I've said quite a lot this morning. Have you? Yeah. You started without me? I started without you. What? <laughs> well, this week I'm going to be concentrating on getting my pub thing hopefully ready to go. I've got so much work to do. Mm. Um, but I'll still be packaging. Uh, might do a little bit of listing here and there. Right, hi there guys. I have just finished packing orders from the weekend. We didn't have a great volume of sales. As you can see down here, uh, I think it's uh, 19 or 20 going out. So nothing amazing. A couple of nice sales in there though. Um, Andrea sold a Laura Ashley dress, which is in here. Um, I haven't put the labels on these yet. I've got to do that. I've actually got to do that quite quick because I'm running out of time. Um, that was a nice sale, I think it was 70, 78, 79 pounds. Um, I also sold in this large box down here, um, that's an MB fashion wheel. I made a video earlier actually, a little closer look at that MB fashion wheel before I shipped it out. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Oh, and a Disney mug in here that was 20. So a few nice little sales, but nothing, nothing major apart from that dress, which kind of made the weekend to be honest. Uh, the rest of it is a mixture of car parts, media, uh, a few more bits of Andrew's clothing. Um, yeah, so I've just packaged everything, just about to label it. I'll drop that off at the post office and then that's me done regarding reselling today. I'm going to spend the rest of my time uh, working on my uh, stamp designs for the pub game that I'm doing. Right, I thought I'd quickly show you um, how I bag up my stuff to go to the post office. That noise you can hear is the printer printing off the manifest. Uh, these have to go with the parcels um, so they can check at the sorting office that it's all paid for and check the order number etc. So those have to go with the sack. I'll show you what I tend to do with those. And then everything goes in a mail bag. I tend to put the heavier stuff at the bottom and the bulkier stuff, so we'll start with that. Shove a load of smaller stuff down the side. So we will cram all of this in. I only want to use one bag if I can manage it. A couple of diddy ones. And that. And then there should be just enough room. There we go. So what I tend to do with the manifest 
is I roll it up like so and then when I seal the bag up with the cable tie I tend to so so the barcode's easily scannable and so it's easy to find hopefully for them at the sorting office I do that don't know let me know what you do and then you know they can scan it um, and they can find the paperwork and pull it out of there easily don't know that's what I tended to do recently I used to just shove it in the bag but who knows anyway I'm off I'll see you later hello right it's a little bit later that evening it's still Monday and I'm working on stamp designs you may be able to see behind me I'm just trying to get my head around making them all the same dimension because they're all going to fit in the same size space when they're shrunk down and turned into ink stamps. So the idea now is that we have a template for every card. So this space will be the same on every card. So every ink stamp that you will be looking for in the pubs needs to be these exact dimensions. So they fit in there. This design, um, I can't really do much with that. So it's going to have space top and bottom because it, it kind of works out as a square. But that's fine. That works perfectly. This, I'm just going to have to take some of this side off. That's Queen Victoria, if you didn't recognise her. That works perfectly. Um, that will be fine. Uh, I've had to trim this one down. That was a lot larger, but it didn't kind of fit that now is trimmed to the right size but we're getting there um, it's progress of sorts so i'm going to carry on with these and i might give you a, a progress report later on in the week it's now tuesday i spent most of yesterday working on the pub game was quite productive yesterday got a lot done which is good but yeah today I thought I'd get a bunch of um, cleaning and photographing done before I started filming I was actually cleaning a caterpillar with a baby wipe as you do um, it was actually quite dirty um, so it needs a good going over with baby wipes before having its pictures done. I've just done this little Fisher-Price ball. I've photographed the Star Wars puzzle. The cool thing about this is it has the poster in, which hopefully will make it easier to sell because there's very little value in that really. It's hardly worth bothering with. Then I'm going to list this lot. Right, I thought I'd include this just to show you that Life sometimes gets in the way. Currently, we have our washer dryer. Excuse the filth on the top. It just gets filthy when it's under there. Well, it's normally under there. Um, basically, this packed up um, what, a couple of days ago now. Yeah. And we've just pulled it out. We've had to manually drain it. And I've just cleaned out a filter. And if it doesn't drain and dry after this cycle that it's currently doing, it's either repair or replace time which is going to be expensive and annoying so fingers crossed work we love you really okay it's looking good that noise you can hear is it's draining into the sink which it wasn't doing before so maybe we fixed it right i've just set this up ready for its photos this is the uh, digital link analyzer that i shared on sunday i've decided to go for 100 pounds on this um and I just wanted to thank those that messaged me um, with advice on what it is and keywords to use and stuff like that, particularly Dave Rowland, who was really helpful. Likewise, on this one, opinion is divided what this was used for, but I've had a lot of suggestions. And yeah, I'm going to do a bunch more research on this before I list it. Hopefully come up with a, a definitive answer. And now this, which is very cool. This is the Lego Architecture Lincoln Memorial. So on the back of the book, there should be a list of all of the parts. Here we go. And they're all numbered with how many there should be. Just got to count all of this. So, yep, that's fantastic. That is complete. Um, so I'll get this listed. 
Right, I'm having issues with my robot. This is a Robo Sapien. Yeah, they're saleable, but if they work. This one, it's got new batteries in, but if I turn him on, he makes either that hissing noise or this noise. Uh, the remote, as you can see, flashing, and it's not having any effect on him. I can't seem to make him do anything. You can see his eyes actually light up, but he doesn't do anything. He doesn't respond. Do something. Nope. So, unfortunately, I think he's dead. We are setting up to record a video with Hannah from eBay. Yeah. Um, it's Wednesday morning, by the way. We've got an expert on the chat with us. So this will be interesting. We're going to be talking about ways of generating sales and promoting listings and stuff mm -hmm. uh, within eBay. So yeah, we're just waiting for them to get set up at their end and then we'll get going. So how are you? I'm all right. It's very close. It's not very close. <laughs> That's fine. Look, we're going to record this. Uh, it's not going out live. Uh, it's going to be a pre-recorded thing. And then they've got sound issues, haven't they, as well? So it's not just us. We feel like we're really unprofessional sometimes. We're like, technical issues. <laughs> no, it's not just us, so that makes me feel good. <laughs> My next task is to drop off these. This is, well, these two are FBA shipments. This is a 15 kilo box, which is a mixture of toys and games. Uh, there's some media in there. There's some books in there. Bit of a mix match of everything. This one is a bunch of oversized stuff. If an item's over a certain size or weight, it tends to have to go to a certain warehouse. And if you mix standard size and oversized, they tend to make you split them out. So I save up oversized stuff. So that's a box of oversized bits, which is all going together. We have a Hermes, no, not a Hermes, a UPS drop-off place, um, just five minutes up the road. So. I know I can get it collected from here, but I, I hate waiting in for couriers. So I tend to just drop it off and then I can drop it off at time to suit me. So we've just finished our chat with Hannah and Beranger. I think I've pronounced that right, I'm not sure, but I hope so. Um, it was lovely to meet Beranger and um, it was a good chat. Um, we weren't sure how it was gonna go, but I think actually it's some really useful tips have come out of that. Um, things that enlightened me I didn't know and um, I'm quite excited to try them now and it just the thing that really was highlighted for me is that I haven't been making the most of the things that are available to me to try to um, generate sales so the question was you know why haven't I looked into these things before why didn't I know that they existed um, I think sometimes you just get so busy doing the things that you do every day and um, you know you just get into your routines and stuck in your ways and you forget to look into other things or um, explore new things when they're launched so um, yeah I'm definitely going to look into that a bit more and hopefully that will help to generate more sales certainly with clothing and I think you know definitely with the car parts and well across the board really but yeah, I'm excited to look at that. So now I'm just sitting here listing and drinking tea from my mug of the day, which is another Kath Kidston. And, um, and then I'm going to think about having some lunch. Quick update. I shared before that I was um, having trouble getting that Robo Sapien robot to work, but the remotes are saleable as spares. So... I listed it and it sold almost immediately for $12.99. So it's worth bearing in mind. We're now about to do a live on YouTube. We're going to do a sales roundup. Usually it's just me. Now it's me as well. This is what we see. Oh, that's a bit freaky. <laughs> anyway, right, we're going to crack on. Hi guys, I've just been doing a spot of listing. I've just listed this, which is this digital link analyzer. You may have seen we shared on our Sunday show where we shared a bunch of stuff from the hall. Um, I've decided to go for a hundred pounds on it. I've taken advice from some people that messaged me 
about what it is and maybe what I could achieve with it, but there's really nothing to go on. So I'm gonna chance my arm at 100 and see what happens. And then I just had a message about five minutes ago from somebody who lives locally who said, if I buy this now, can I pop over tomorrow and pick it up? I said, that's not a problem. They bought it immediately. And because they've made that purchase, I am then fine to message them my address. You need to be careful within eBay about sending address details. But because he has purchased it, it's fine. He has now got my address. He is popping over tomorrow at 11 to pick up this scotch tape. Not big money, it's a fiver, but you know, at least I don't have to post it out. I am going to list a few more bits and then I'm going to attempt to teach myself some Photoshop. Um, for the designs I'm doing for the pub game, I want to learn about layering and I want to do the layout of the different cards myself. I was gonna get the printers to do that, but to keep costs down, I'm gonna try and get all of the uh, artwork done myself and then email it through. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get my head around Photoshop. That'll be interesting. Hello, it's Thursday. Um, it's coming up to lunchtime now and I've been listing all morning. Just made myself a nice cup of coffee in my new giraffe mug. And I've taken Nick a cup of tea. And um, I just noticed I'm appearing to start piling stuff up that I've listed um, onto my dryer over here. It's a bit of a slippery slope. I'm descending into chaos. Um, I think that I'm going to maybe have to spend tomorrow just sorting stuff because it's, yeah, going to get out of hand if I don't get a handle on it. I've also um, not actually bagged up anything that I've listed that's hanging over there yet and that's getting deeper and deeper, <laughs> just hanging and hanging and hanging on my boxes. They're either going to collapse or I really need to get something done. Um, Part of the reason for that is because I thought I might do like a bit of a try on, um, maybe do, do a video um, or just take some photos that I can add to my listings and um, do some Depop listings as well. Um, so yeah, I keep putting off actually bagging it up because I think if I bag it up, I'll just have to take it out again. So, and also it'll crease. So I might as well just leave it there. But the trouble is I, I put off doing the photos and then it piles up and it piles up and so on and so forth and then I end up in chaos like this oh I need to give you an update on my uncle um, he did break his arm quite badly and he's all in plaster and I've got to take him back to the hospital next Wednesday where they're going to put a second plaster on so I think the initial one is so that they give it time for it to swell up or for the swelling to go down or whatever and to settle and then they take that off and put a second one on so yeah he's going to be out of action for at least six weeks It's Thursday, so I have just picked up these two from school. What are you doing? We're just saying our, our fairy doors. Oh, okay. I lost a tooth. You lost a tooth? Show me. Oh, no. <laughs> it came out and then she, I put it under my pillow. The tooth fairy came. Say hello, Nina. Hi, my mummy. Your mummy? Yeah, your mummy's here. Not here. She is, she's there. <laughs> I am here. My dad's not here. Your, your dad's not here, no. <laughs> Just back from looking after the twins and I popped in at uh, a contact I, I now have locally who ends up with loads of packaging and boxes. So I've got four great big boxes. Um, I think, I don't know if they're all full, but this one certainly is full of bubble wrap and void fill so yeah really handy saves it from all going to landfill and saves us money as well we are on the tat chat live so hello everybody peter claire alan 
So this Chris. is what we see when we're vlogging. This is the chat. It's actually moving quite sedately right now, which is nice because we can handle it. Well, actually, that's because you've got it paused. Oh, I've got it paused. Say hello, vlog. <laughs> yeah, I've got John, Ray, Charlie, Lady Lolly, Adrian, Christine. Hi, everybody. Okay, I've now finished um, a bunch of research on this. This is the ultrasound machine that I was photographing before this EMS Therasonic 5. Um, now, a few people suggested on the Sunday live hangout where we shared this thing, that it might be a therapy unit. And that looks to be the case, which makes sense when you think you've got Thera, so therapy and Sonic for the ultrasound. So yeah, it makes sense. I have found a handful of completed listings, none of which sold. All of the machines looked way more modern than this as well. But some people were trying to get in the about 200 to 250. Um, some were a bit lower, but none of them had sold. And because this is an older machine, looks way more basic. I'm going to go £100 again and just see if that is achievable. I might even put offers on it and basically take what I can get because it is proper old. And I don't know if this stuff is collected. I don't know whether old is good. Do people buy this stuff? I would assume people are buying these to use because it's for um, therapy on joints and muscles and stuff from what I could work out. So I think somebody would be buying it to use. So in that case, older isn't better, I would think. I don't know. I'm just writing the listing. I'm going to go for £100 with offers and, and see what comes of it. Right, we thought we would wrap this up and share something that happened today. We got a letter today in the post. Mm. Oh, Car um, Karen, look, I'm wearing the T-shirt you gave me. Yes, the letter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we applied for PPI, um, whatever you call it, because I had a, a really small loan um, about 20 years ago with Marks and Spencers. And um, yeah, and Nick said, well, let's just go for it. And then finally you did it. And we've now got um, £1,400 coming to us. That's minus the fees from the company that dealt, dealt yeah, with it for us. Yeah, and I thought it was worth mentioning because this was a small loan that Andrea took out to pay um, for going to America when mm. we travelled across America in 2000. Yeah. And you only borrowed two grand. Yeah. And we got a payout of £1,400 on a tiny little loan because they pay interest on, on all the money that's owed to you for all of that time, basically. Mm. So, and I think the, the deadline for PPI is this year sometime, like August or something. I don't know. Google it, it will come up. So if you've been thinking about it, I strongly suggest doing it. We went through one of those firms that advertise and we did pay them a chunk of money but, you know, they took all the hassle out of it and they did it for us. And they, we've got now got £1,400 that we didn't have and we were never likely to have. We're happy, bit of a windfall. Yeah, I didn't expect that much. I'm, I'll be honest, I really didn't. No, well, not from a so, tiny little loan like that. Yeah. So, yeah, give it a go. Do it. We are chuffed to bits mm. with the fact that we got a payout, especially on such a, a tiny loan from that long ago. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, drop us a comment below, let us know what you enjoyed, what you didn't, and um, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. One, two, three.